so our morning started out a little slow. Uh, this is a second rifle hunt out in uh, this desert country. Anyway, um, we were way back up on the top, probably what a mile and a half, two miles away, yep. and we spotted some deer. We didn't know what they were, so we were able to come all the way around and get up close to them, and uh, we caught them back up in this draw right here. And um, this area is not uh, a trophy area, and we're not about trophy. It's about being with family and friends, and, and it's a meat hunt. So uh, EJ made a, a what, right about 400 yard shot and uh, put this buck down over here. We didn't get to get it on film because it was just one of those hurry up type deals. But uh, anyway, we got him. So he's up over here and uh, we're gonna go and uh, let you guys check him out. What do you think, EJ? Let's huh? go do it. You ready to go do it? Oh yeah. Guys let's ready for that little haul? <laughs> Absolutely, let's do it. Okay, let's ready go. Ready to go to work. <laughs> I think our best bet is to go just straight up this and come up here because we have a hike back up here. Look, best thing. Yeah. yeah. You have a smile on your face, EJ? Always, but especially today. Last, last half an hour of this hunt, huh? Yeah, yeah. We got to be back by noon in Albuquerque. What do we do? High five on it. <laughs> <coughs> so here he is. All right, he's a nice fork, huh? Yep. Great shot. Look at that shot. He's sticking his tongue at you, dude. I know. I think he's going to get him. Right through? Right through the heart. Through the heart. Nice. Good shot, Dave. Good shot, shot at 400 yards. 400 <laughs> yards. Good job, man. That was a great shot. Good shot. What do you think, Chris? I'm excited for you. <laughs> Your first set of... <laughs> well, you didn't do too bad. Last week you got your cow elk. I know. Yeah. This week you got your, your deer. Tied down both hunts. All thanks to you. Hey. Uh, well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's a good deer. Right the there. turkey and get the trifecta. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Tied down both hunts. It's a good year. Go, done. Yeah, done. More meat. More meat. You know, like, like we were talking about earlier, 
it's not all about the, the size of the animal. This is a trophy. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? We weren't here to hunt giant bucks because this country doesn't hold them. You know, there might be a few here and there, but this is what it's all about. Yeah. Being out here together, you guys, father and two sons, me and my daughter, you know. What, what it's all about. You know, it's all we care about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I just want to thank you for coming out here with us today. Oh, well. Yeah, we man. appreciate it, man. Yeah, we couldn't you. have done it without you. And just what we learned today is amazing. What we learned the last couple of days, just learning how to track and, and glass and those kind of things, those things will last a lifetime for us. You yeah. Know? Well, well, you we know, there's different that. styles of hunting, and glassing just saves you a lot of walking. Could you imagine how far <laughs> that would be walking aimlessly out here in the in this desert country without glassing, you know, these things do the walking for us. Oh, yeah. yeah. So. You got that special eye, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't see these guys. Well, <laughs> well, what's good there, Steve, if you guys don't recognize him, he's a little, he's a little covered up. But <laughs> Steve is a MMA fighter, and he has a fight coming up. Uh, when is it? What's the date? November 30th. No November 30th? Yes, sir. Uh, we'll, we'll be fighting at... Uh, I said a casino on November 30th. Come on down, you got nothing else to do. Yeah, come and support these uh, these fighters, our New Mexico fighters. Uh, they're up and coming. He's uh, with Jackson, right? Jackson with the MMA. Yes, yeah, sir. so. Uh, Who are you that, fighting? Uh, his name's uh, Abel Collum. Uh, he's, uh, he's a pretty well known veteran in New Mexico, so it'll be a good, uh, it'll be a good scrap. All right. Fantastic. Yeah, so you guys out there, go ahead and. Uh, uh, get out there and support these guys. You know, um, they need all the support. Let us, uh, so you can watch what our New Mexico boys are all about. Rocking that Blue Creek outfitter gear. <laughs> That's boy. right. We got our Blue Creek. <laughs> you guys are. <laughs> hey, where, where's, your, where's your shirts? Oh. There you go. Shirt there. there we are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got the hat. BCO Adventures. Our hundred, I mean, it's always an adventure. Yeah, we yeah. had a blast, you know, so. Uh, uh, it's all about the camaraderie and you know just going out there and having a good time you know there's no pressure you know it's you know go and have some fun and again like I said we get to be the dads get to be with their kids and how much more do we want than that yeah that's all yep. I care about man is this, this is so important for our families and if you don't do this you ought to try it one day because uh, this is an amazing experience for for me and my boys and I know he's been doing this for many many years and he's got his daughter with him and uh, I tell you what, these last two days have been fun and uh, packed with uh, laughs and joking and stuff. And uh, I wouldn't give it up for the world. So, again, thank you very yeah, much, thank Mark. You. Thank, thank you, Mark. Appreciate thank it. you. Well, I appreciate you guys having me out here with you. Cool. You know, and, and one thing about what we do, it's all about management and, uh, and $100. $100 is what lets us do this. Let's us, you know, New Mexico is a great state. Not everyone's happy with how it works. But to me, I've been doing this for a lot of years and their management is second to none. I mean, you know, that you don't see 10,000 hunters out here. It's very controlled and it's the hundred dollars, your dollar, your dollar, your dollar, your dollar, my dollar that is habitat for these animals and our money goes somewhere. There's groups that don't like what we do, but mm -hmm. they don't put a dollar into our, our animals. Yeah. They'll put their dollar into a fight that they don't know nothing about. You know, it's a different type of fight, mm -hmm. a little different than what you're doing. But uh, <laughs> anyway, enough of that. This is, uh, you know, all about, you know, having fun with, with family and, uh, and a great shot, bud. Thanks. <laughs> and now we've got some meat yeah. <laughs> to eat. Yeah, and, and, and some prime stuff. These, these desert bucks are great. Yeah. But better yet, you're going to learn how to, how to gut your deer. <laughs> all right, let's do <laughs> it. It's yours okay. now. Let's do it. <laughs> all, right. all right. Thank you, Mark. <clears throat> Let's just turn him around, grab his head there, and we'll, we'll turn him around. Well, this whole time you weren't this recording. Way. Just kidding. <laughs> this way, and, and we'll go ahead. Wait, and, let me take uh, pictures of him. Yeah, we'll get we'll get pictures okay, pretty quick. Because I'm a, I'm a uh, let me get that. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll figure out a good place, like over here where it's not too much grass, and we'll clean them up and, and get a good good sit. So let's go ahead and grab him from there, and we'll take him right over here. So we have a good... Right probably here is probably stand up here. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. We're gonna get like this. Okay? So we'll we'll get some picks. Okay, hold on. 
Okay, so we got the deer and uh, EJ's taking it down now. We got the truck on the bottom of the canyon. Just uh, It's about, I don't know, 100 feet from the main road. But anyway, we're going to head down and see if we can't find another one for Steve and uh, go from there. He's a big boy, we'll make him carry his own deer. This is his first year of actually hunting. Uh, so his dad and his brother, they bow hunt and they had him come out over here. And, you know, we talked about this, this area a little bit. And I told him, you know, it's not a, it's not an area that you're gonna go and shoot a giant buck, you know, and, and we've taken some nice ones out of here, but, uh, we figured, you know, they're not, like the dad says, I've hunted uh, Steve Sr. that he's hunted deer his whole life and he doesn't have a trophy or elk on, on the wall. So they're not, when they bow hunt, you know, they take cows, it's all about, it's all about the meat. And you know, that's the way it should be. You know, trophy is trophy, yes, I've gotten some, but you know, nowadays, it's all about the meat and I love to hunt with my girls and my family and uh, that's what it's all about. So anyway, uh, congratulations to EJ. Good luck to Steve on his fight and uh, we'll see you on our next BCO adventure. It might be easier just going down the center of the arroyo. Now hopefully we can get you one. Steve, I know we don't have a whole lot of time, but... You know, man, honestly, like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't have really experience, but I'm happy you take that one. Yeah. That's really, like, that, my big thing, because this is, like, his first real year of hunting, you know, and I've been hunting with my dad for such a long time, you know. Yeah, and I know even on that other one, uh, you were, the other buck that we saw, you were, uh, giving him the green light to shoot. Oh, yeah, and you know, you told us that's, that's pretty good. A lot of guys are, you know, a little different. They want to do the shooting and, you know, uh, you are more than generous. Well, that's what brotherly love yeah, is, my, huh? That's my brother, man. Yeah. To, to get what he, you know, came to do, you know? Um, you know, me and my dad have been hunting for a long time and he'd come every once in a while, but EJ, uh, he did really got a successful year this year, so I'm happy about it. Take a breather. Yeah, there's no, there's no hurry. Yeah, man. He's not. I don't think he's gonna get up and run. Do you? <laughs> well, we'll catch him. So, yeah. He can catch him. Yeah. I oh, know. You go, Steve. Just <laughs> <laughs> a lot of meat. Well, EJ Ricky. might, might someday. If we allow him to be a, a, a son-in-law, I don't know yet. We're still trying to decide. Uh, <laughs> and, and he, he's, a, he's a pretty good guy, I got to admit. A, I'll, I'll vouch for him. Will you vouch for him? Yeah. I'm like, hell no, I ain't vouch for him. Thanks, Run, Crystal, yeah. run. <laughs> yeah. You know how many times he pushed me into a wall for holes in a wall? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's a good dude. Yeah. Supplement. Give me a little extra power. Supplement. 
comfortable. Well, we're back at the truck. Man. Everybody got everything? Everyone got everything. Alrighty. Here, we can throw this pack in. Okay. I got it. Okay. Oh, Don't be fighting with me. <laughs> yeah, he's already tagged. In New Mexico, you got to tag him immediately, and that's what we did. They finally got a good tagging system and keep everyone honest. We're happy about that. Well. Are you ready, Steve? I think he's bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go find another one. Hey, let's go get another one. Yeah, we're not. We're not done yet. We yeah, still. We still have about an hour and a half. Yeah. All right. Let's go get the other one. Well, it's over and out at this part of this BCO Adventures, and hopefully we have another one in a little bit. And if not, oh, what the heck? We're having fun. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir.